Well, hello everybody. Thank you for stopping by. Honey, I joined the cult. Danielle, I joined the cult. Ah, she didn't hear me. She has her headphones in, I think. She's she's in her scrapbook room. Anyways, how, how's it going, everyone? It's a pleasure to be with you today. They call me Kay. Um, yeah, we're going to be playing Honey, I Joined the Cult. What is Honey, I Joined the Cult? Uh, well, here's a brief description of it. It's time to start working towards that ultimate goal of enlightenment, faith, and money. Lots and lots of money. Create, customize, expand, and manage your own cult. Was well, listening to funky music and honey, I joined the cult. So yeah, I, this game has been on my radar for some time now, and um, <laughs> it seems a little zany, a little, a little funky, and, and all that. Um, so I'm pretty excited to jump into this. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. It, so before we jump into this, I, I do want to say, if you are interested in, into this game, it is currently in early access. Um, right now, as of the time of, uh, of this recording, for about seven days, the first seven days of it being released on early access, you can go ahead and pick it up for an additional 10% off. It is going to run you $19.99 original, 10% off being $17.99 right now. Uh, yeah, so if you're interested and you like what you see, uh, maybe go check this game out or add it to your wish list or something and wait for it to go on sale, whatever you want to do. Anyways, if you are a returning subscriber, it's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. If you are new to the channel and you just checked out, you know, kind of looked up, you know, what, what is Honey? I joined a cult and you're like, I need to see a video on this. Well, it's a pleasure and honor being with you here today. Um, if you like what you see, make sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of Honey, I joined a cult, you got to smash that like button as well. It's a tiny little gesture to me knowing that you want to see more. It's very simple. Or just simply comment saying, yeah, I want to see more. Other than that, you can go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already for more content by me. And let's go ahead and jump into Honey. I joined a cult. Oh, baby. All right, so here we go. <laughs> so it kind of has like a, um, I don't, I don't like what, 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 other, what, what kind of like, like trying to compare it to another game here as far as like how the layout is. Kind of like, uh, what is that one game we, uh, uh, escape from, not escape from Tarkov, Jesus Christ. Um, the, the one where we escape from prison. Ah, it escapes my mind. Anyways, Space Commander Charlie Fishnut, Assistant Director Hoskins. Oh my god, we are going to join the cult. Yo, all these- what the heck? So there's a lot of protesters, it seems like. People in, like, police uniform or maybe authority uniforms are coming in with- with batons? I love the funky 80 music, or, like, the funky music. It reminds me of, like, Napoleon Dynamite. The people here are brainwashed. They're practically delusional. Take this, punk, for instance. This guy with the octopus? He's covered in blue. House paint. <laughs> That's not house paint. He's begun his transition into the space fish. Well, fish. <laughs> sort him out. Yes, boss. All right. There's another man with a fish on his head. Good for him. Assistant Director Hosking. Ugh. Oh, no. Oh, fish. Boss, I'm not sure this is paint. Of course not. I told him he's part of space fish. He's part space fish. Amazing. A miracle. Holy moly. Nonsense. It's probably just that really stubborn paint. Just get him out of here, okay? <laughs> this place is done. We're shutting him down for good. But I did nothing wrong. Does he have an orange fish on him? He does, doesn't he? Although we cannot prove you actually lifted a finger around here, everyone else is to be taken away for processing, okay? What's more important is that I'm free. I want you out of this dust bowl tonight, punk. I'll be moving on to the next load. I mean, yeah, of course. Officers will seal all this off shortly. Agents, let's roll out of this dump. Well, there we go. Oh my god, look at all the fish people. They're all going. They're all leaving. They all got arrested? What are they going to do? You're fished now? All right, good job there. I like that. Reporter Sal Smith. Ain't got time for bleeding. Take care now. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I guess they are protesters. These fools couldn't incriminate me. Even if they have, have evidence hid, hidden under my hat, which there is. What? You have a bag full of money, my man. Charlie Fishnut. That's a hell of a name. Look at him. He's like, take care. Gonna go through the hole in the fence. Uh, you ain't seen me, right? What? Did he just hit the man? How dare you? Fish, 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 fish. Detective Cross. Time to change my ways. Excuse me. Did you just hit me? <laughs> hit him again. Time to change my ways. 
Time to... Oh, who am I kidding? Time to rebuild and reestablish contact with a new divine being. Time to go join a cult, or maybe establish a new cult. First, I'll need some serious cosmetic surgery to change my appearance. Good thing I know a guy. Down with this type of thing? Wait, who's down with this type of thing? Protest leader Duvall? Down with this type of thing. Again, what? Okay. Three months later. I've been told that like there's a lot of customization you can do in this game, which is really cool. I think. It's what I've been told. So we're going to find out. <laughs> Alright, so the cult customization, like I said. <laughs> a lot of customization in this. So the leader here. Oh my lord. Okay, um... We have the title, Cult Leader's Title, used whenever the game refers to Captain Crimbo Grunto Mix Snow. Okay, so we can actually make the title. Okay, so we have the title, the first name, I guess is going to be our Cult Leader. Customize him, Cult of the Moon. That's the info, the Cultist, and then the Room of some sort. Pre-made Cults, oh, so there's one of ten. So this is a pre-made Cult, pre-made Cult as well. There's ten of them. This is kind of cool. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, I, I think I'm going to go ahead and just like make my own custom Cult. And, you know, I'll, I'll be right back when I'm done. All right, so this is where I landed here after taking about 10 minutes of customization. Um, we have, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. And it was very difficult for me because I'm not a very, very creative person. But I did what I could do. Uh, so this is our character, I guess, maybe. I don't know. This is the leader. This is, his title is going to be Master Forehead. If you guys are longtime, you know, fans of the channel, you know what that means. So use whenever the game refers to Captain Crim. So I guess when the game refers to us, they'll be like Master Forehead. <laughs> um, I did Cans, who's alone, because let's be honest. We know how that is. <laughs> no, I'm not alone. Maybe. I don't know. Possibly. Not in this world. I don't know. Anyway, this is our cult info. Our cult name is going to be Cult of the Foreheads. And in term, it'd be like, hey, mom, I'm leaving home to join the Cult of the Foreheads. So mom should approve with that. Divine being. Um, above all, we trust in the can's face. And then our symbol is going to be just almost in the dome, right? He got shot in the eye, but not fully i don't know if that's supposed to be a moon i don't know it looked like a face and it looked like someone getting shot in the eye almost to the forehead so that 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 worked out there's like 32 different emblems or symbols you can make so this is for our cultists this is how we kind of uh you know i guess use them as nouns and and, and, and whatnot i kind of went with life had no meaning until i became an elf so i did life had no meaning until i became a foreman right and then plural for men so for man and for men it's almost like hey i'm a foreman right but it kind of goes with the forehead type thing. I thought that was kind of clever. Maybe not. Um, and then we have our relic room, which is going to be the holy room. And this was, there's like 17 different relics. This is going to be our relic. I know it kind of looks like a, you know, it looks like the, the, the ball from Epcot, but it's not. It's a dome, maybe a disco ball. I don't know, <laughs> but we're going to call it the dome. And so in the holy room, this is going to be, if you wish to progress, you must worship in the house of the domes kind of referring to our head again and then the relic is we shall protect our giant domes at all cost <laughs> so yeah we're gonna be like we should protect our domes at all costs anyways that's what it's gonna be like the tutorial is gonna be on let's go ahead and stop stop babbling on and let's go ahead and start our game as honey i joined a cultist oh my god hello world uh hello I'm Cans alone, but you can call me Master Forehead. Welcome to Cult of the Foreheads. Oh my god. It's like my dream come true. The Cans face told me you were coming. The Cans face tells me loads of stuff. Just me, though. Nobody else can hear. The Cans face also told me you were going to help get the foreman up and running. It's pretty much your destiny. I'm more of an ideas person, though, so uh, you're going to have to do some groundwork. All right. You can't run a cult if you can't see the cult. Move the camera. All right, we can move the camera. We got this. Don't worry about that. Middle click. Wait. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, okay. We know how to move the camera. I think I saw a bee in the grass. Zoom in so I can take a look at it. Uh, what? <laughs> okay. Nope. Just some bee-shaped grass. Zoom out to increase it. All right. Basic stuff. Good. Not a bee in sight. Fantastic. Foremen are the engine of our organization. They perform all the daily duties and keep everything running smooth-ish. Save for the missions they're set on. 
Uh, four men spend their entire lives in this beautiful compound. They are truly blessed. Actually, sometimes they're arrested. That can take them off compound for a while, but uh, that hasn't happened in weeks, though. <laughs> Most importantly, four men extract money from our visiting followers. We need this money to realize the mysterious grand plan of the Kansas face. Oh my god. I purchased this compound with some money I had from the previous venture involving the Cans face. I can't go in with details, of course. Uh, we're going to develop it into a state-of-art facility that will provide for the needs of the foreman and make money from our followers. You talk a lot. Time to do some work. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm a little nervous, I'll be honest with you. Listen, you can treat foremen badly. We still need to provide for their basic needs. Neglected foremen will have a mood break or leave. Plus, they can be funny to watch. It's not great for business, after all. Let's see how our foremen are doing. Pick the, pick the most attractive one. Uh, dude? Jern? Alice Vronsinski? Or Vronsky? View their stats. Okay, so let's go ahead and view their stats, apparently. Holy crap, dude, this is a lot of information right here. I know the stats button is right here, but my god, look at this. Staff member, unassigned to a bed. Oh my god, I'm feeling like RimWorld vibes a little bit. That scares me, because I'm not very good at those games. Previous job was a hobo. Her quote is, you won't catch me with my trousers down. We'll see about that. Bio, jo joined on day one. Made from biscuit, grafted to grape. What the hell did you just say? Can breathe underwater. Sells reusable condiments. Well, all right. So I'm gonna click on our stats. So here we go, we got the stats. Uh, really? Not who I would have chosen. The mood bar shows the overall mood of each foreman. So her mood is, I guess, like half, I, I, I guess. She's very happy that she's a new foreman, but uh, her quality, I guess, the quality, this person has very limited potential. Quality is very poor. She hates cards. Will not use the recreational room. Uh, small portions, maximum hunger stat is decreased. And then strange, pretty criminal. Or petty criminal, sorry. <laughs> what the heck? All right, the, all right, all right, all right, let's continue. Everything affecting the move of a foreman is listed in the mood sections, like we just went over. Okay, building a foundation. Everything needs solid foundations, even buildings. Let's construct some now. With foundations, I'd like to drag the area. Okay, so let's, let's do that. Uh, foundation, brick, concrete, gray, metal, and wood. They all are the same, um, same price, so I mean, like... <laughs> like... Uh, let's start with brick, I guess. We'll just go clear across, right? There we go. Build a door. <laughs> a cell door? Um, no, I don't want a cell door. I don't want to freak these people out. Um, maybe just like a plain, like, door? I, I mean, I, there's a wood door. Let's do just the white door, I guess? No. Come on. Let's not do color coordinate. Let's just have a, a nice wood door. You know, welcome to the, welcome to the foundation, I guess, or the, or the here. Up. Uh, Oh, right there. They want us to put it right there. Okay, there we go. Okay, building foundation. Now, let's get, uh, let's get, let's now partition, right? Partition the area so we have enough space for multiple rooms. These rooms will be pretty cramped, but they'll do for now. You want to expand them later. All right, so let's do that. So we do, do we go back in the foundation or do we use like walls? Yeah, we use walls in this, in this sense. So we have brick on the outside. What do we have on the inside? We actually have wood on the inside because, you know, that seems kind of cool. Maybe, maybe not. Very 80s-esque-ish. Like, the, 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 the everything right here is kind of blocking the way here. I'll be honest. Can I move that? Oh, I can. Thank you. Thank you. Some games, you can't move that stuff. Glad you can do it here. But we are, you know, we're doing our thing here. There we go. All right, so we've built the walls. Well done! The can's face says to tell you that they're very pleased. Let's designate some rooms now. Okay. A tired foreman won't perform their duties well. Their chit-chat is also super dry. They need to sleep in a bed to replenish their energy. All right, so we're going to probably put beds down. Let's assign a bedroom here so they have somewhere to sleep. Once completed, exit the room assignment mode by clicking or by right-clicking. All right, so let's go ahead and build a room, a bedroom. So I guess right here is the A bedroom or a first bedroom. Do I just need to do like, I mean, we have like, how many? We have like five, right? Yeah, five people, including ourselves. Yeah, so we should probably like have five bedrooms. No, I, I don't want to go too in front of the ahead of the game. Uh, yeah, I, I won't. I'll, I'll continue with the um, with the tutorial just in case if I need these rooms for other other reasons. Good work. The room menu automatically opens up when you assign a new room. It shows what your objects are or need required. What is going on outside? It sounds like freaking thunder. It hasn't rained in like five months. Um, build five beds. Build five storage boxes. So wait a sec. They want five beds? They want five beds? 
in this one tiny little room? No freaking way, dude. Is that how we get down in this cult? <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, there's prestige in this. Can we rotate? Oh, very good. Rotate. Okay, so dirtiness, dirty bed mattress. So there we go. We have five bedrooms. Then you want storage boxes in here. Okay, one there, one there, one there, one there. And then like, I guess one right there. I guess I sleep in the middle of everybody. <laughs> All right, so build a door. Let's go ahead and build the door because, you know, that's pretty obvious. Now, what kind of door should we do for the bedrooms? Like, I, I would like to kind of color coordinate things. Uh, so, like, this is a gray instead of a white. This is white. So maybe, like, the white. Yeah, the white will be the bedroom door colored. I don't know. Good work, Foreman. We'll sleep in the beds during their assigned sleep time in their schedules, all right? It's better if everyone... Or it's better for everyone if foremen have access to a toilet and shower. Absolutely. So for the bathroom, I mean, let's just do blue, I guess. There we go. We'll do blue and then assign our space for a bathroom. Yes. Bathroom is a four by four at a grand minimum. There we go. See room for specifics. So we're going to need a drain, I guess. You're a natural. Let's place some bathroom objects. The object and room menus have search functions. Yes, we know that. View the bathroom. Yes. All right. So we're going to need two toilets. Dude, that's our toilet is a bucket. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is not starting out good for our cultists or for, you know, our cult. Uh, build two showers, which is like a bucket and string. Okay. One right there. One right there. And then a sink trough, which is an actual trough. One right there and one right there. All right. Good enough. Couldn't have done it better myself. Foreman will raise their bladder and have hygiene and stats in the bathroom. Oh, yeah, yeah. Starving foremen tend to die. Oh, you can actually kill them. That's kind of crazy. So build a canteen here. All right, so let's go ahead and build a canteen. All right, there we go. Um, and then we will build a door for this canteen. Then the door is going to be for, like, orange, I guess. Orange for food. I don't know. Build one vending machine. So let's go to objects. And let's go to see room specifics. Let's kind of hide that a little bit. Canteen serving table. Um... You know what? Let's do canteen table. Oh my lord. Let's do table first. Then we will do serving. And then we will do what is this? Why 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 are you giving me that that, that sound or that thing? I don't know. Vending machine there and then a water cooler right next to it. Okay, cool. So this is good. This is our canteen now. Let's go ahead and see what this is yelling us at about. Yep, go next. Very nice. Foreman will eat the canteen in their free time when they're hungry and raise their hunger stats. Okay. Some scientists believe that vending machine food is not particularly uh, nutritious. It can also be expensive. A kitchen will provide better quality cheap food like gruel. You might want to build one in the future. Okay. These rooms you've built, they're hideous, honestly, but placing decorative items will increase a room's prestige rating, which in turn will affect the moon. We've played Two Point Hospital. We know about gold stars. <laughs> um, no, that overcrowding a room with objects results in a prestige penalty. Keep an eye on a room's prestige bar while decorating and expanding cramped rooms when necessary. Place some decorative items now. All right, so place a... Wait, place decor items. Okay, so let's go to decorative. We can search by, I guess, decor. Okay. I'll be honest with you. There's not a lot of room to do here <laughs> with anything. So, like, where do you want this decorative to be at? Like, you can't tell me you want a freaking lamp in here, do you? Oh, my God. Um, A small wood table at the end of this bed? Sure, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Can we put, like, a standing lamp on top of it? No? <laughs> okay. What? A oh, nice plant, right? Okay, good. Oh, we could have actually got funky with it and put a lava lamp in there. Light fitting. What the heck is light fitting? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what light fitting is. Um, maybe we add something somewhere else, like the shower, probably not. Bathroom or kitchen, sorry, kitchen. We could probably add something in the kitchen, like a small decorative, um, like that's too big. A tall mirror, table mirror. I mean, we could put a mirror in the bathroom. Is that weird? Possibly. <laughs> Very possible. I like what you've done with the place. Placing decor will, will increase the prestige rating of a room, which will increase people's mood. You can view the prestige rating by clicking on the room. All right, so our prestige is, you know, it's, 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 it's there, but restricted is space. I mean, I get that totally for the bedroom because look at the bedroom. There's going to be five people in there. Why is nobody praying? The can's face will go crazy. I want to hold a ceremony, but, you know, build me a holy room right now. Do it now. All right. Uh, the holy room, again, we're going to stick with the brick foundation for the most part on every room. 
and then uh, build the door. So for the door, we're gonna actually have a, a door with a window so that people can peek in and be like, oh, this is the holy room of, of face. <laughs> uh, assign a space for your holy room, okay? House of the domes, oh my lord, love it. So this is house of the dorms. So there's XP, money spent, influence generated, boredom rate. So there's very like uh, specific stuff here. So it looks like we only have a bronze uh, dome. That's something. Now, what's the difference between the idol bronze? Okay, so the, it's like uh, wood or it's like like metal or something. So we need at least a lector, right? I think that's what you call lectors. And then two pews. What? Are, what? The, what? What? Pews? What the heck are pews? Oh, benches, I think. So we'll go with this. And I think I'm going to do the, the stone instead of the wood. Yeah, I think I like the stone better. So we'll go stone or like marble, whatever that is. Then we'll do a lector of wood, maybe, of wood. And we'll go like right there. And then they will have stone pews, maybe? Stone pews? What do you think? Or wood pews? Maybe wood pews. Yeah, we'll go wood pews. And we'll go on each side there. Cool. Place decor item. All right, so let, that's optional, but I'm, I'm all for it. Let's actually do some decorative items in here. So we'll go decor. And, uh, yeah, let's do, I don't know, like a, I was thinking like a, a wood table. Have like a wood table right there. A wood, wood table. I, I can't place more. What? You, you're, you're restricting me there? All right. Fair enough. Game. All right. I guess we'll go to the next. Holding ceremonies in the holy room creates faith. Faith is drained by each foreman. If it gets too low, everyone's mood will suffer. That's not good. Let's hold our first sermon uh, before everyone steps foot or stops believing in the can. <laughs> before everyone stops believing in the can's face. All right. How do we do that? Cere ceremonies will occur automatically each day, providing your holy room is fully functional and accessible and you have enough influence. Looks like our first ceremony is about to start. Wait until ceremony finishes. Okay, let's see. Okay, here's our people. Look at them go. They're like, we got to go pray for the holy can's face. <laughs> so is the master forehead, is he going to be doing this? Like, he's going to be going up in front of everybody and talking? Yes, he is. All glory to the can's face. Look at that. Uh, sad. Oh, heart face. Nice. Now, during this time, can I actually do anything? Like, can I go decor and do like what I wanted to do? Which was finish off my tables in here? No, I can't. Okay. Wow, these people are like really loving this. Alyssa, Alice, Amy, Sunny. Why do we have a lot of females in this cult? Okay, so this must be something. I guess this is like our overall view of our cult. So the House of the Domes, we are two out of five star. Foreman capacity right now is six. We only have four foremen, so we can add two more foremen or two more foremans if we wanted to. Influence cost is negative six. Uh, faith generated was uh, 161. Cans alone mood, uh, minus 16. Why is that? I wonder why. Uh, energy, I guess doing that drops the mood. Energy plus 10 and then theme rating, which we just probably don't even have a theme right now. is nothing. So the foreman count, 4 out of 8. Fo follower count, uh, 0 out of 16. Overall, I guess we're doing fine, I, I, I assume. Right? Alright, they love this. Ceremonies are more effective if I'm in a good mood before they start. Oh, so I have to be in a good mood before they start. They took a lot of the Master for his energy, though, so let's space them out, okay? Um, select the house of dome, select the serum tab. Where's the serum tab? Ceremony tab, sorry, ceremony. And then, okay. Okay, you could change, manually ceremonies uh, can also be triggered there if a scheduled ceremony fails to start for any reason. So it looks like we, we can time it to where it, whenever we want. Standard, altered, required, okay. Okay, purge negativity, what the frick, dude? Run unscheduled ceremony, okay. Fair enough. Followers are the cash cows that we need to milk. They'll happily pay for all sorts of strange treatments in our therapy rooms. All right, we're gonna need to build a therapy room then. Uh, let's build a therapy room, all right? Let's go ahead and build a therapy room. Uh, again, we're gonna stick with brick here. There we are. Very good. Build a door. So in the therapy room, they're gonna be just... <laughs> uh, therapy rooms are gonna be dedicated to a steel window door. No, they're going to be actually a casual door. Casual door is going to be uh, that. Assign this space for meditation studio. Hmm, meditation studio. Okay. There we go. Meditation studio. Build one meditation stage. Music and... St okay, stage, music. Okay. Meditation mat. 
All right. Uh, let's do like okay. So it's just a little tiny karaoke box. Yo, hey, call me Patrick. Thank you for becoming a member. Really do appreciate it, Patrick. Thank you so much for re-upping your membership. So we're gonna put our music box right there, and then we're gonna go meditation stage. I guess right here, and then the rug or the mat will be like a yoga mat will be like right there. I guess. Oh, build five meditation maps mats. So three. There we go. And then place a decor item. I would like to do that. Yes, please. Uh, place decor. Somebody's coming over here. Check this out. So in the decor, uh, let's just put like, I don't know, like a, like a lamp, dude. There you go. There's your freaking decor. She's like, I don't know what the heck she's doing. She's like crying or something. People love meditation. Sometimes I say I'm meditating, but I'm actually asleep. These therapy rooms will make us a fortune. Four men will work the therapy rooms during their work routines. Okay. Followers will spend their time praying in the holy room and receiving treatments in the therapies. Different therapy rooms produce different amounts of resources such as money, faith, and influence. Followers will leave if they are no if there are no therapy rooms available or they are bored of the current ones. Build as many different therapy rooms as you can to keep the money flowing. Remember, it's all for the cans face. Nice. We first need to convince people to become our followers before we can make money from them, however. So let's build a lobby. Uh, interested people will go to the talk and talk with the receptionist and build... Okay, so this is kind of funny. So they'll come to, the, to this, you know, compound and they'll be like, Yo, can I talk to your receptionist? What do you guys are like? I mean, are you guys good? Uh, do, you know, do you guys give off good juju here? Can I join your cult or can I see what you got going on? I will follow your religious beliefs of the can's face. Let me in type thing, right? So there we go. Let's go ahead and assign this to the lobby. We'll do that. Very, very... Oh, it's blue. I like that. And then a lobby desk. And we'll do that, like, right front row and center. Bam! And then place decor, like you already know, dude. Decor. And in here, like... <laughs> um, I, I mean, we could put, like, a stool. A comfy chair. Yeah, comfy chair. We'll do a comfy chair. Kind of like a lobby, right? There you go. Can I put multiple? No? Not yet? All right. There we go. Good. A decent receptionist is very important to try and make someone who can string a sentence together. If the receptionist does a good job, the person will join us as a follower and start to visit our very own therapy rooms regular, regularly. You know what people really love? What? Paving tiles. You're such a dummy. People follow paved paths. If there's a route available that's not ridiculously long, otherwise they will walk on the grass. Then they might step on a bee. Nobody wants that. <laughs> of course. Uh, let's build a path for the people to get to the lobby. All right. So, yeah, let's let's absolutely do that. I'm all for that. Make it look pretty, right? So, there should be, like, what, paths or something? Oh, floor. Floor and either paving one or paving two. I kind of like... Oh, we can change the color? No. I kind of like the... Um, like this shaped one. No? No, no, no. We can't do that. Because, look, there's already, like, kind of shapes going on here at the sidewalk. So, maybe we go like this. That's consistent-ish. So... Okay, we'll, we'll keep it consistent with the sidewalk, I guess. There we go. I met someone in the bar yesterday, and they said they dropped by to check us out. They should be here any moment. Oh, dude. All right, wow. They're, uh, they look totally different than how I remember. I wonder if they're still interested. Let's see. So wait for, wait for a person to become a follower. All right, so we can kind of see how this is going to happen here as far as, like, <laughs> how our receptionist is going to do with Alyssa Gondorf. And this is an unknown, unknown male, I guess is what it says. But they're going to the receptionist, let alone. Let's see here. She's very happy. Very happy. Toilet? I don't... Forehead, go to the toilet. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's money and the, like, Willy Wonka lollipop wheel there that we just saw. Wow. All right. So I think they became a follower. They just paid to come in, I guess. And they're going to go to the Holy Dome. Oh, this is incredible. That's our first follower. Pretty sure it was my bar chat that made him made the difference here. All right. I'm feeling a bit guilty about splashing so much money on those luxury toilet buckets. I let the foreman earn $50 from our follower to show their gratitude. You can speed up and pause time using the controls in the button. All right. So make, what does that say? Make $50. So that's our objective is to make $50. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and use what the games told us and like kind of like speed up time I don't know if more people will come There's no missions. There's mission status. Oh good. This is lovely. You can see our followers down here um, One out of 16 awesome to see that. Okay, this person is actually spending money in our holy dome In the meantime, can I actually like fill out the things because I really wanted to finish my holy dome here uh, Decor decor. I would really love it if I can 
No, I still can't. All right, all right, all right. So making money. How's our objective coming along now? $46 already? All right, so we're like almost there. They're going to go into the therapy rooms, probably spend money in here, right? They spend money in the rooms, right, is what I'm understanding. So they're very happy. Very, very happy. $6, there we go. We got our $50, right? So let's go ahead and like slow down time a little bit. Probably press play. All right, so we done did that. Ex excellent. They clearly love the can's face. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. We'll want to spend more uh, competent foreman in, in... Wait, wait. We'll want to send more competent foreman into town to carry out tasks. Others should probably never leave the compound ever. It'd be great to have someone shouting about how great we are in town. People love that. Send someone now, please. So we got to launch a mission. So this is our mission. Oh my God, we have a freaking map. Um, okay, so shouting, shouting outing. Okay, so we can go shout somewhere. So it looks like there's a, there's a town hall. So we have to assign a foreman. So who's good at this? Looks like Amy Leaf is good at it, as they all have skills. Um, so we're going to assign Amy Leaf to shout at the city hall. There we go. Right? I think we did it. She has a 100% chance of, of, of bringing people in. So other rewards. XP performing, uh, PR rating. A lot more stuff that we need to, like, obviously learn more about. So there we go. Off they go. There she goes, Amy Leaf. Uh, the success of a mission will depend on many factors, like who you send and how hard it is. Let's see how they do. Review the mission once the mission is complete. All right, so I guess we can sit here and fast forward the time until she's done doing that. I don't know how long it's going to take for her to do the mission at Town Hall, but right here you can see at the bottom right, Foreman traveling to the Town Hall as we speak. Let's go and fast forward the time a little bit more here. Oh, I see. There's like a little bit of progression bar here also. So that, that All right, so we just have to wait for that to, to be done. All right, so now the mission is done. Let's go ahead and review what happened, I think. Mission complete. Yep. Mission complete. Turn it in. Yo, the funky music. All right, so shout loudly about how wonderful the can's face is. Your foreman returned. So we got main outcomes was a PR rating. So we got very good PR rating. 110 XP performing. $500 and 70 PR rating as well. So awesome. That I, I, I feel like that was probably a good thing, I guess. I don't know. Sure, looks like they're good at shouting. Missions provide all sorts of rewards and benefits, such as unlocking new objects and providing more resources. Oh, I love to hear that. Personnel will not return from missions until you view the result. Sounds good to me. If we're going to make some serious, serious cash from our followers, we'll need to research funky new technologies for our base. Let's get a research room up and running. Oh, dude, yes. I love it. All right, nice. We're going to be doing this. Research, awesome. I like, I like this. The tutorial is really, like, I'm, I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm really happy. All right, so we're going to need a research office desk and a supercomputer, a super 1980s, I guess, kind of like computer. We're going to put that front. Well, not front and centered, I guess. Research desk goes right next to it. There we go. And then we're going to need to build a door, obviously build a door and then some decorative items. Uh, let's go decor first and then we'll go to the door. How big is a lava lamp? Like lava lamp? That's good for thinking, right? Let's do a comfy chair. Let's just do a nice comfy chair right there. And then let's go ahead and build a door, please. Now, the door for the research, I don't know, dude. I guess it really doesn't matter. We can go, like, steel window door. That's kind of, like, labby type, right? Lab-esque. Awesome. So, foremans won't work in the research office unless we assign a research task. So, let's do that now. All right, so research. Okay, let's... Maintenance room, PR emissions, recreational rooms. Wow, this is really cool. Look at the freaking tech tree here. Holy moly. Wow. Um, a lot of tech here. A lot of tech. I like to see that. Maintenance room. I, I guess we start that. No. Uh, excuse me. Start the mission at the research office. Uh, yes, I, I would like to do that. Do I have to click on the research office? Research office. Okay, no. Research. Okay, I would like to research this. Uh, no, research this. Maybe? Foreman using the room wander, uh, wandered the compound repairing broken objects for uh, cluttering, clear cluttering. Oh, I guess that's already what we have. Oh, all right. So we already have maintenance room. Is that what it is? I guess because if I click on this, what happens if I click on this research PR missions? Okay, recreational rooms. Okay, so wait, did they say any p particular? No, it didn't. So we could do like spirit chamber, I guess. Followers using this will gain XP and generate influence. Energy spa. 
Skills increase and money. Uh, skills increase. Influence and money received from followers. Not too bad. Energy spot and recruitment office. Cost. Oh, I see. It costs um, this like spinny wheel thing. I see. I see. No, we need the maintenance room and PR missions apparently for that. We need just the maintenance. Yeah, so we just need the maintenance room. I'd like to do that. Uh oh. Is this a bug? I'm not sure. <laughs> oh no. So Amy actually did get, um, get a skill there, so that's fun. Hopefully this isn't a bug. Oh no. I might have to reload the game maybe? Okay, yeah, so it was a little bit bugged out. What I just did was I reloaded the game. I clicked on it. Now I can finally research it. Okay. That's all right. Um, you know, it, it, the games are in early access. There, there's expected to be bugs and whatnot. So th that's fine. We figured it out. It's all good. All right, so we'll go ahead and fast forward time here as she uh, researches. This is going to be Amy Leaf researching, who actually needs a level up here. So if we take a look at level up, we can do empath empathy, increases influence generated by followers in therapy rooms. Increases, uh, how so that increases influence gains. Wow, there's so many different, like, retail, increase money gains, like, social, public speaking. I'm actually going to put it into public speaking. Double public speaking. Um, the reason why I'm going to do that is because if we're, if we're going to have missions, uh, she's probably going to be the person to go to, right? She's probably going to be the person I go to, to to have her go out on missions and do stuff like that. So, Foreman is using the room. All right, so we did do that. All right, so return. Now we've unlocked a bunch of things. So now that we have a maintenance room, we have, we have a PR mission room that we can research, recreational, energy spa, and spirit chambers, of course. Let's go ahead and start the next tutorial. Excellent, this bar will increase when foremen are working in the research office. Once the research office is complete, you'll need to assign a new research task. Uh, right, complete maintenance room research. We done did that. All right, looks like the cheap, oh God, looks like the cheap furniture we bought isn't holding up. This object has already broken. The more an object is used, the more likely it is that it will break. Someone working in a maintenance room will patrol the base and look for broken items, soils, and other clutter. Build a maintenance room so we can... Wait, 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 wait. Build a maintenance room so we can keep on top of this. Yes, all right. So let's go ahead and build our maintenance room that we just recently researched. There we go. Um, and then we will bring in our room-specific stuff, like a cleaning cart, a tool trolley, and a workbench. Nope, other way. There we go. Awesome. And of course we need to like build the door. <laughs> uh, for the door, like just, um, well, for the door, let's do like another steel door for, for this. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Excellent, someone will start patrolling the base soon. So let's watch. Time will automatically pause for the next section. Observe the worker, um, observe the worker, observe maintenance worker, okay? So what, we just have to like wait and see? And we, we do have a lot of maintenance or a lot of research that we could do here too as well. Uh, okay, here we go. Alyssa, Alyssa Gondorf. Let's, let's come close that. Yeah, there we go. Move that over here. So wait, what, what, what's going on with her? She was in there, but now she wasn't. Bad memory, strange, very poor. So can I actually quickly assign this maybe? Or is it just automatically? It's like whoever comes to it, first come, first serve, I guess. Oh, oh, I see, I see. What is she doing here? She has the broom out. Is she just doing other stuff right now? Yo, they actually have sensor. They take their clothes off in this game. That's funny. <laughs> All right, so the, I, guess she, I guess she was cleaning that room. She cleaned that room. All right. I was expecting you to fix over here, but that, that's all right. All right. It'll take a while for a foreman to find broken objects and clutter. To speed up them, we can manually order maintenance room workers to fix something more urgently. Select the maintenance worker. Okay. And tell them to do this. Oh, maybe right click, right? Yeah, right click. Go ahead and right click on that. And then she will do that. Unpause. Oh, so spacebar is a pause. Cool. Can we like... Oh, yeah. Okay, one and two is is the speed up and slow down. Cool. So she's going to go ahead and repair that. There we go. So that is all... So that's how we do maintenance. Good. <laughs> very simple, very easy. I like it. Um... The authorities don't take kindly to organizations like ours. We want to try and keep a low profile. Heat is a measure. Oh, God, there's a heat. I see. Heat is a measure of negative attention that we are drawing to ourselves. Certain actions increase heat, such as people dying. Oh, such as people dying? What? Foreman leaving in mission failures. If it gets too high, people may protest against us as the, or the police might intervene. Heat will slowly drop over time as we stop producing it. My friend from the bar looks pretty desperate. I reckon they join our ranks if we ask them to. Ooh. So select the follower. This is Andrea? Oh, Andrew. Sorry, Andrew. Recruit a new foreman. 
So if you take a look at Andrew, his quote is, I am the one who is wrong. No? <laughs> Current job, he's a tramp? Excuse me? <laughs> Future Darwin Award winner chose the blue pill. It's not like a Matrix uh, reference there. Doing it for the daft kids. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at his stats. So if we wanted to, we could actually take a look here, right? I don't know what the modules mean. Interests seem like... Are these all the interests? Like he's all into that stuff, I guess? I guess we can recruit him. So let's go ahead and recruit him. And see how that goes. I don't know how we recruit him if we just do that. There we go. I'm doing it for the can's face. Love to hear it. Love to freaking hear it. Welcome to the party, pal. They'll definitely be, oh, they'll definitely need their own bed, but that bedroom is looking a bit cramped. I recommend expanding your room as your current, uh, as you recruit more foremen. I agree. The can's face talks to me about a lot of different things. From raining down hellfire to summoning giant octopus creatures, their will really, or their will really is open to interpretation. Once you build the leader's sanctum, we'll be able to choose which direction to go in. Whatever we do, we'll need money, so make sure you got a regular flow of followers. Good luck, foreman, or good luck, forehead. Good luck to anyone, really. So leveling up, oh, a little no notification. Foreman gain experience by performing tasks and going out on missions by working, and they can level up and improve their skills. Spend skill points to make your foreman more proficient. Tip, you can manage the job priorities or of your foreman to ensure your skilled workers are assigned to the right task. Well, that's good to know. What's going on over here? Oh, like a little bit of um, like a skill up, right? So th this person is like on, um, on the lobby, right? Lobby, increase recruitment chance. Yeah, that's probably where we want to go. Double time on that. So there we go. Social. You're good at the receptionist there, Sony. Or Sunny. Sony. <laughs> Looks like we have another one. Alyssa here. What does Alyssa have? So Alyssa's currently right now doing um, maintenance. So is this good for maintenance planning? Maintenance room. Increase patrol speed. That's good. So let's double time on that one. Instead of negative one, she's now one. <laughs> and then, who is this? Alice? What is she doing currently? Does it say what she is doing currently, like job-wise? Priorities. What is priorities here? We could give her the current one, which is meditation. We can give her a preacher, I guess, which is the house. And we could do her researcher. Um, let's see her stats. Um, hates cards. Quality is poor. Strange, petty criminal. How is she doing as far as, like, um... Sorry, stats? No, no, no. Uh, yeah, skills. How is she in the skill department? So she's actually, like clean like she, she has nothing going on with her she's not really started on anything so we can make her intelligent and probably help her out with a uh, research office she could be our research person so let's do that and then let's go ahead and give her priority of research yeah that's her high priority ignore priority so we can tell her to ignore things do things and have it at a low priority uh, i kind of want her to ignore maintenance i want to ignore receptionist and maybe she can do these others as a low priority yeah she can do these as a low priority Con con uh, content content one and then preacher of course but her main is going to be uh, research for sure and, which in the meantime we should probably be going ahead and doing research which uh <laughs> probably pr missions is a good idea to start with so let's go ahead and get that going on pr missions for sure and then we're going to need another bedroom right uh so let's go ahead and make this maybe into another bedroom or maybe like they said expand our bedroom i guess if we wanted to expand what can we just do this does that does that count oh my god what did i just do um, like if we wanted to expand this a little bit more, no? And then how do we, let's see, how do we destroy a wall? I would like to destroy walls. Rooms? Can I destroy this? Oh, demolish. Delete wall. There we go. What if we did that? And then we go rooms and we go bedroom and just expand this out. Can we do that? Awesome-ish. I don't know. There's like red here. Expand it. <laughs> I don't know, dude. Um, okay, so foundation. I mean, what we could do is we can go like, bam. Do that. Add that to the foundation. And then what we'll do is we'll just go walls here. We'll go. I, this probably was like the jank way of doing it, but we did it anyways. And we'll go wall. And we'll go wall. And we'll go wall. There we go. Okay, cool. And now we can actually do our room into a bedroom and go whoop. Full on bedroom. Cool. And then we can add more beds. So we had an extra follower. So we can do that. Can we move these? Yo, can we actually move that? Did 
Delete object. Oh, move object. Yeah. So we'll move this object to right there. Move this object to over here. Move that to right there. There. Okay, this is looking better. We'll go there. Okay. We'll actually rotate that. There we go. We'll do that. Now this is looking a little bit better. It's not so cramped, right? Whoops, sorry, Alyssa, I didn't mean to do that. So move this. Probably like right there, I guess. Right in the middle of the room. Is that good? Or is that like tree blocking? The tree might be blocking. Maybe right there. There we go. How's this? And I guess someone can like just go ahead and jump on that. Like no big deal, right? Like what, what's, the, what's the issue? Like, let me know. Requires any bed storage room. I, I, I assume this is fine, right? I assume. Uh, Alice has a level up here. And Alice is our researcher. So let's go ahead and like bring in more. Yeah, max level. There we go, I guess. So she brought in a research, which that, my lord, that took, that, that was very, very quick there. And then we could do like recreational room, I guess, for 20. There we go. All right, PR missions have been unlocked now. Uh, Alyssa... Alyssa has some more skills to, to deal with. Now hers is planning and planning is maintenance. And so if we could set her priority, her priority is gonna be at maintenance. I don't want her on the receptionist and I don't want her on research. The content one in the preacher, probably, probably I guess for now. So we'll get that going here. Uh, is this Drew? This is not Andrew or this is not Sunny. I was hoping that was Sunny. Uh, it looks like Amy has another skill increase here. So she's doing public speech speaking because she does um, she does, you know, PR missions and, and, and stuff like that. Recruitment office as well. Uh, so we can do life is stage, us the players. So we'll do there and then social, all module rooms. We don't have that quite yet. Kitchen, no. Retail, therapy rooms, probably espionage, cover ops, increase mission speed. That's what we want, espionage. So for Amy, her priority is going to be simple. She's going to be... Uh, Priority on content and receptionist and no maintenance and uh, no research, please. There we go. PR missions unlocked. You now have access to PR missions. We can finally start making a name for ourselves by getting out there and working hard to build our reputation. Absolutely. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing um, for sure. But um, I think that probably will do it here, ladies and gentlemen, for our first, like, episode. Kind of, like, looking at here. At, um, I still don't understand this. Like, we, we do have... One, two, three, four, five, six, right? Six bedrooms or six beds and enough people. We're going to have to expand our, our kitchen here. We are going to be do. Oh my God. Are these more people that are coming in? These are more people. Four followers. Oh my Lord. Yeah. So we have a lot to do, obviously, but uh, that's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Foreman was injured. Oh my Lord. We have so much going on here. We have so much going on here. Massively filled feet. Dirty hands while eating. Treatment not required. Energy decrease. Okay, that's good. A foreman has gotten ill after eating with dirty hands. You know I'm starting to see how using an old trough as a sink is probably not a good idea. All right, so we're going to need to, like, upgrade ourselves for that, for sure. Um, whatever foreman is injured and injured foreman will struggle to perform their duty. Some injuries are minor and heal over time. Others require medical attention, either at the city hospital or on site at a medical ward. Yeah, there's a lot to this game, right? As you can see. But anyways, I'm going to pause the game here so nothing else comes up. Uh, like I said, it's been a pleasure and honor being with you here today. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Honey, I Joined a Cult. If you want to see more, like I said, you got to go ahead and hit that like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Comment and let me know and say, hey, this game looks pretty spicy. I want to see more. Other than that, guys. Do take care, and I will see you in the next video, wherever that may be. This is for all of you, not just a song to listen to, something to give you hope to hang on to. I'm here, your pocket full of songs.